This is the last video in the Coding for Kids in Python video series. This is part 21 and I'll be doing a recap of this entire coding series and what we have learned in each video. Though first of all, I want to congratulate all of you guys for completing this Coding for Kids in Python video series. Great job! Now let's get on with today's video. Welcome back everyone! So let's start off with chapter 1 in the book, Coding for Kids in Python, written by Miss Adrian Take. So part 1 in this coding series was where I covered the entire chapter 1 of the book. And in that video, we actually downloaded Python on our PC, and we also used Idle Shell to write our first line of code saying hi to Python. Now part 2, 3, 4, and 5 in this coding series is where I covered the entire chapter 2 of this book. In part 2 of this series, we learned how to save our Python files, and I also went over a lot of keyboard shortcuts that you can use while coding, such as Ctrl Z, Ctrl N, and much more. Now, we not only used the idle shell in that video, but we also used the command prompt to go over more shortcuts. In part 3 of this coding series, we learned about the various uses of the print function and we learned how to customize our output. In part 3 of this series, we also learned about variables and we learned briefly about the different types of variables supported by Python. Now let's move on to part 4. In that video, I went a little more in depth about variables and I also showed you guys some important facts on how to use them in Python. I also talked about F strings. Now part 5 of this series was our first fun activities video. It was also the first video where we used Google Collab. So in Google Collab, I showed you all the amazing things we can do using that tool, such as print functions and math operations. So in part 5 of this series, I went over the first few fun activities of the second chapter of the book. Now part 6 and 7 of this coding series is where I covered the entire chapter 3 of the book Coding for Kids in Python. So in part 6, we talked all about numbers. Yep, we actually learned how to do math using Python. And I bet that once you guys all watched that video, you probably now have easy help to solve your math problems. So in the next video, part 7, we ran through some of the fun activities of chapter 3. And the fun activities were all about math and numbers. And again, we used Google Collab to complete them. Parts 8, 9, 10, and 11 in this coding series is where I covered the entire chapter 4 of this book. So part 8 in this series is where we learned about strings and other things. So again, we used Google Collab to learn all about strings. Now moving on to the next video, part 9, we focused on all the operations we can do using lists in Python. Now in part 10 of this series, we learned about a very important topic in the programming world, which is if statements, and we also learned about tuples. And since if statements are such a big topic, I went over a lot of stuff in that video. In part 11 of this series, we had some fun doing the fun activities of chapter 4, and I went over some of them with you guys, and we also used Google Collab to complete them. In part 12 of this series, I covered the entire chapter 5 of the book except for the fun activities. So we learned all about the different types of loops. To be more specific, the for loop, the while loop, and the infinite loop. And of course, part 13 in the series was another fun activities video where I covered 3 of all the 6 activities in Google Collab. And all the fun activities were about loops. Chapter 6 of this book was covered in parts 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So in part 14 is where we dive into chapter 6, which is called May the Turtle Be With You. So in part 14, we started learning about the turtle module. Now using the turtle module, we were able to create a turtle, change its color, move it around the screen, and so much more. In part 15, we talked all about the hexadecimal system. Now using our knowledge based on the hexadecimal system, we were able to change colors in Toby the Turtle's home. In the next video, which is part 16, we had so much fun because we actually learned how to move our turtle all around the screen. In part 17 of this series, we learned or dive deeper into drawing shapes in the turtle module. We also learned about, you know, how we can fill those shapes with color. And at the end of the video, we created an amazing turtle spiral with various colors. 
in part 18, we did the fun activities of chapter 6. And that video was really fun because we got to create some super cool animations using the turtle module. What is reusable coding in Python? Well, in part 19, we went over reusable coding and how it can make coding fun and easy. I also went over the entire chapter 7 in that video, except for the fun activities. And finally, we come to our previous video in this coding series, which is part 20. And that video was our last fun activities video in the series. Now that is a wrap for our entire Coding for Kids in Python video series. I hope you all enjoy learning about the basics about Python and continue to learn more about it and develop more programming skills. Now that's all for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later on NPStation.